Okay, this is the extended high ROM adapter continued videos. This is uh, Donkey Kong Country 2 and Donkey Kong Country 3. And if you will notice, on this one I've um, set up the cartridge to where it'll save your progress. So as you can see I already have, uh, have a save file here. Okay, so that's just... Okay, so now I'm going to go hit uh, reset. And now it's uh, Donkey Kong Country 2. And there is my saved progress from um, earlier when I played. So, so using this version of the adapter, I'm able to I'm actually. I'm able to retain the save data on the games that have smaller, like Donkey Kong Country uses the um, 16 kilobit save uh, save RAM, and so I'm able to slice that up. So here's what the cartridge looks like. And let's see if I can get it to focus here. So anyways, this is the Donkey Kong 2 ROM, this is the Donkey Kong 3, and then what I did was I took a, a little jumper, I don't know if you can see that or not, off of the SRAM, that pin there, and then I uh, attached it to that point there. So anyway, so that's um, and those are those four four points there that um, it's hard to see actually, but on this one, but uh, these four points one two three four it's just the other side of the ripple counter that does the high low and low low high high and so on. So um, it's just um, thinking ahead there. So, and then this one, this one is Zelda, I don't know if this is Ancient Stone Tablets or not. I really have to admit I wasn't, uh, wasn't a big Zelda player, so, but, um, anyway, so, but, uh, I think it's quite interesting making the Zeldas, so. So this is chapter one. I'm going to hit reset. This is chapter two. And chapter four. So, so this is the smaller two megabyte version. Now this beast here, 
I want it, this is basically the same cartridges as these others, um, except uh, instead of soldering the ROMs directly to the adapter, I went ahead and used the sockets. But I've got four ROMs, one, two, and uh, three, four. So one's just, these these two are just piggybacked on the others. And so um, before I hardwired them too, I just wanted to make sure they worked. So that's why I had to cut the case out. If, uh, if you don't use sockets with four ROMs, then they'll all fit and the case will shut. So anyways, but this again is just, this was my last uh, prototype board. And um, so I wanted to make sure it worked. So there's chapter one. This is uh, chapter two. So this version is the four megabyte version times four. Whereas the previous cartridge I just showed you was the two megabyte version. And so all four game files would fit on two EEPROMs. Where this one, um, you need one megabyte per week and times four weeks. So this particular version, uh, I don't know if it's been confirmed it, it works on real hardware or not. Um, I'll have to ask around and see if anybody knows. So. Mm. So there you go. That's, that is so there's the double Donkey Kong. It saves your progress either game. And so Donkey Kong uses the small SRAM. Um, I don't know. There you go. You can get a picture of me. I don't know if, um, uh, I know Super Mario World uses the small SRAM, um, Donkey Kong series, but I don't know what other games use the small SRAM. So, but anyway, the ones that do use it, you can slice up the 64K SRAM to, to do individual save files. So. Just like you saw on the ancient uh, stone tablets, where there's four EEPROMs, you could, in effect, do a, you know, Donkey Kong Country series one, two, three, and then the uh, competition as number four, and you could have a separate save files for each one of those. And, um, all right. Well, I have used up all my prototypes. I think I've tested them to death, and I'm pretty convinced that um, that they work. So on for final production.